All right, welcome back to My Crafty Corner. All right, so this is part six, I believe, of our little mini album tutorial that we're doing. And I've got some stuff prepared. As you can see, we're getting into the, the pretty, pretty stuff. So what I've got going here is that we're gonna do, we're gonna mat the outside of our album covers, the insides, and the we have the mats for our stands, our boxes, our drawers, all that good stuff. We have all of the mats for that. So, um, so I'm just gonna dig in, and I want to work with some of this pretty stuff. So I think we're gonna do the front of our album covers first. So I'm gonna put these to the side. And I'm just gonna pull in one of the albums. We've got three of them going. Now I went ahead and I wrote on the front of mine which one would be the front so that I know um, where the pockets are going in the correct direction. So, all right. So this is what we got. And we're gonna go ahead and start matting the outsides of these and go from there. All right, so what I've got is, um, I do have measurements here. Um, I did mine with the light green, the coral, and then the dark green. And then I matted the insides I did with white. Because we're going to add a pocket and a, a, a flap on it. And then, um, yeah. So, I'm going to just leave that there. Uh, maybe there, if you can see that. I don't know. It's kind of scribbled, so... <laughs> But that's what we got going. And then I have the spines, but I don't have a mat for the spines. So these mats are actually just going to be the, the solid colors here. And then your mats for that will just be a quarter, take a, a quarter of an inch off of both. So like, um, so this is five and three quarters by seven and a quarter for the solid. So for these they're gonna be five and a half by seven. So, and then I just left the spine part um, a solid, cause I'm not sure yet what we're gonna do on those. And I also used um, a scallop, my We Are Memory Keepers, the scalloped in there corner chomper, used that. Um, not using it on everything, but um, so like, I did on the fronts and the, the covers for that, or, but I didn't for like some of this. So I only did like on the pages where the corners really show, like you wouldn't want to do it there because that's attached, but, and then so on the inside and just on the corner there for that pocket. So yeah, all right, so let's get busy to matting these. And let's see, and I, I don't have my, my glass mat, so I'm hoping that as long as I don't go maybe, what, past here and past that green spot, you'll be able to see. Oh man, all right. So, alrighty, I think for the first one, I'm going to do uh, these here is what I chose. So, we're going to stick these down. And let's see, I'm going to lay these to the side. 
for now. All right, so we're just gonna use, I'm just gonna use um, Fabri-Tac to put mine down. I like, I like using it. And that's about it. So we'll go, we'll run through and do all of the covers first. Ooh, whoa, see, getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. All right. Um, you could use your, um, what is that stuff called? Tape runner? ATG tape runner. Um, I might do that for some of the ones on the inside, but for the since these are going to be on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and use these because they'll be sliding in and down, or in and out of our um, albums. Now I went a little bit larger on here because you have to make up the space for your spine there. And I got mine a little bit closer than, you know. Did I bump you? Okay. So, you're recording. Yes, okay. Making sure, making sure. All right, so like that. And then we'll go ahead and do this one on top of that. Can't tell. Maybe that's good. Might look like a lot. And then just line that up. And just kind of squish it so it kind of squishes that glue around. underneath. Okay. If you can hear that, that's my cat. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right, so let's go. Go ahead and add. Um, for this, for our Pattern. If we use a pattern on the side piece, on that spine, um, I thought I would wait until maybe I have some different strips because of the size of my covers or that I had to cut my mats at the, um, I didn't have enough left over to make it match this or the other. So... We'll go like that. And it really just depends on how much space you want to use. I probably should have cut it just slightly shorter on this side, but that's okay. I did not want to go back through and redo it, so we're just going to go with it like that. And um, also, I inked my edges in um, the Tim Holtz. Distress Oxide and Ground Espresso. So, that's what I used. Yeah. I need a new bottle of this. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be so pretty. Okay, my glue is leaking right there. Um, I have a. has um writing and stuff but it doesn't matter all right Ooh. to do it without squishing glue out everywhere though I don't like that so All right. okay so there we go first one done I'll be glad when I get some of them matted on the inside because they want to get caught on each other and it drives me nuts okay oh, I like it isn't that pretty? I love those colors. So pretty. Okay. See? That one wants to get caught on that. Okay. Alright, so. Um. Alright, so let's go to the next one. And that's gonna be this one and we're gonna do that's the middle one here and I'm gonna do I chose the coral and these ones to go on it so okay so pretty look at you go okay um, yeah. All right. so let's get it a second to get down there If I like that one on that side, how well it would do. Okay. Right. Probably would be faster if I used a tape runner, but. It's okay. This glue feels like when you when you first squirt it out, it feels very cold. It's crazy. Okay. know how much embellishing will do like on the fronts of these because and we not can do a little but you wouldn't want them to get um, um, you know damaged sticking them in and out of the I feel like 
Oh yeah, I think I'm not green under. Oh yeah, it is. it out everywhere though okay so then we'll go ahead and do our little spine piece I have to remember I gotta stay over this way Maybe I should have got that one a little bit more narrow. Oops, scoot, whoop. Look at that. Not paying attention. The only thing is when you have that glue on there and you've got ink and you wipe it, it makes it look dirty. So that one was a little bit too close to the edge. Ooh, I didn't hold that up when I measure it. I should have done that before I did that, but you know. Oh my gosh, that's gonna drop. Did I know it? Oh my goodness. Do you see what I did right there? I didn't know it. I am a crazy person. Hang on. <laughs> So when we were making these, I didn't remove that tape or that backing. Well, did I do that on all of them? No, that one's down okay. I mean, oh my goodness. Check your measurements on that. This one I kind of made, kind of got it cut slightly larger than the others. Oh. Well, it is what it is, and it's fine. I could do it like that, I guess. That makes it look a little more. And it sticks that one out. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is now, so we go with it. Mm. Wobbly. My album covers also could have been not quite because you know that's okay. And I feel like I'm kind of inconsistent on <laughs> when I post a video and that kind of thing. And I'm trying to get better at that. But I kind of just have to do it when I have time. And, you know, that's sometimes that's difficult. But maybe I can get that done. All right. So I'll have this one. Okay. 
I don't think that really matters. The direction was, it's like polka dots, okay. Oh, I got some of that glue really close to the edge on that one. Try not to squish it out too much. the colors in here they're so bright and cheerful I like it I have a feeling that is gonna bug me though because <laughs> you can I can feel it <laughs> all right then this is the last one and I chose these to go on it so but I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I need. I guess I need to dig out. I should have done that first. Was to dig out um, my magnets because we we have that flap in the front, and we do have flaps throughout. So I don't know. Um, I feel like when they're to, like they're in that. Um, in the box, they really don't need magnets, and especially after you get the pages and stuff on it, so I'm not sure what exactly, I hadn't thought about that until just now, and, hmm, or if I want to use, um, any kind of ribbons, or get some seam binding. I have some seam binding that's already colored up there. I have some like cream um, and I have some of this kind of blue color maybe or teal color that might work. And I have black. So mm, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. Because, I mean, we won't be able to add, like, a whole lot of thickness in there. Because they're going to be in that, you know. And so, we shall see. Whoa. Like it looks like it's coming out, but it's really not a whole lot. It's hard to squeeze it, and I think it's because it's got that hole right there in it. It's wanting to squish glue out of that part, too. Okay, which way? That's okay. This has to okay, that's up. And also, the reason that um, I'm going ahead and matting the covers first. Is because I didn't want to mat all of the box first and the drawer and all of those things I didn't want to do all of that first and then not have the paper that I wanted to go on the, the fronts of the books so I decided to do these first and what I did is I the way I picked those was I tried um, just picking um, the ones that had the top of something on it um, like on this one it actually had the barn with the animals on this side but it was too big and it wouldn't have all fit on there and so I thought well okay so I just used a piece of the the windmill here and I like that I think that's cute because you can add 
Um, we won't be adding anything really down to the bottoms. If we do add anything, probably more up to the top so that it'll have room to, you know, fit in there. Good, but yeah, so I like that. And, you know, so I like the chicken on the barrel. That's cute. And the chicken wire, so that's the ones I went with. And I really do like this paper, but I, I wish that they would have more, um, well, I mean, more than two sheets. Well, I bought two packs, so really one pack only has one sheet of each. So if you're doing a large project, you, you have to add your own or get different kinds of papers and stuff to go with it because you you wouldn't have enough, or if you, even if you did have enough, you have to use like so many different patterns together so that they look, it's too busy looking. And we don't want too busy. I'm gonna move that down just a hair because when they're sitting in the box, we do want them to all kind of look like they have the same distance between them. I really should have cut that a little bit smaller on those. So, I cut mine because my spine is one and a half. Well, mm, yeah, I probably should have cut it at like one and a quarter or or one and three eighths rather. Um, one and three eighths would have gave you a little extra on both ends. So one and three eighths for if you haven't cut yours yet. If you are doing it with me, so, okay, and this is this one, I did buy some printable papers to you that I could have used, but, um, um, I have some wood, like some wood grain, or plank ones that would have worked really good or uh, some gingham ones that would have been really cute but right now my printer is not working it decided to stop working on me so yeah so now I'm <laughs> can't do that which is disappointing because actually I would have rather I mean, I'm using these solids but I only have so many of them and um, I really wanted these for like cards and things but since it's what I had um, now like the the album that the albums that I made um, that I showed in the first video the ones that I had kind of got you know, wanted to kind of redo for this one because I really loved making that one. Um, I actually I didn't have I didn't have paper then to go with that that matched. So, but I had paint, and so I, I literally painted <laughs> I painted my own paper. I just took my paint and a brush and took my sheet of cardstock and painted it, and then went on with it and. I just had different colors and I just sat down painting that and before I knew it I had oodles of them and um and then I ended up cutting and making flowers and stuff out of them and everything else and that was really fun because you know it's kind of like I painted it and it's kind of like even when you print them you know you can you can always print more so you're not as scared to mess it up I guess so all right so let's add that one to the back. And yeah. so, da -da. and the colors that I picked for the outside of the box are going to be that first light teal color because that's my favorite one. And so I picked it, and I actually don't even have any full sheets of that color left. I only have some of the cut the cut down pieces. 
So, but that's okay. I should have enough to use throughout the album doing um, mats and tags and things like that. So, all right. And then I still have plenty of the coral and this darker green. So, and I had thought about maybe even use it because some of the patterns in here they're they're more on the blue side instead of the the teal side you know they're more of a light blue and I could always <clears throat> if I needed to bring in I guess a different color but I don't want to get too many things going because then it would just be I think too much so I think that's nice I like that all right I hate I don't know what that is okay so there is our three, um, let me put this up and I'll pull that in and let you see what we got here. So here is our stand with our books in it. This is how it's going to look and we'll have our feet on here. We'll have our handle here. We're going to have some, some of the flowers and things going on there. I think it's going to be really cute. And then that one, and I don't know, I may, I think I like it like this with the, hmm, you can see why that's not ugh, down on the edge. Okay. Um, yeah. So, and I think, I want that to be the back of the drawer because <laughs> you can see. You can see it in there. So we'll make that the back and nobody will ever know. Yeah. So it looks a little... I wish too that on this piece, I don't know if you can notice it, but I wished... Now I know this one's going to be bigger all the way around regardless, but on this one, I wished on the top and the bottom, I would have added just a little bit more to make it flush with this piece. I think that would have looked better, but I didn't take that into consideration that you're not, you don't have a front piece on here. Or either I could have made, yeah, I would have had to make it, these pieces just a tad bit longer, even the side pieces, but that's okay. It is what it is. And so there's what our books look like in there. And they're pretty snug. So, um, you know, they're, they're snug. They're not, they're not going anywhere in there. So, yeah. All right. So, all right. So now, let's see where we're going to from here. I think we'll go ahead and get inside each one of these. All right. I'm going to put that there. And I think what we'll do is, uh, all right. Oh, let me save that one for next. Let me do this one first because it's just, it's just plain, plain, plain uh, white and okay. So. I got, this is gonna be your back inside covers. Now they're gonna be the same as the, the front well, or are they? No, they are not. Sorry, okay. So these are gonna be, well, five and a half by seven and a quarter is gonna be your white, and you'll need three for each. This is gonna go in the back inside cover. And then three, of whatever pattern you want and they should be five and a quarter by seven um this is probably yeah five and a quarter but anyways so as I was cutting mine down I goofed and I cut this one too short but since I am limited on some of the paper what I will do is I'll just add um, I've got some washi tape. I've got um, some different things. I can add something to it to make it not show or 
something. I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out on it. Yeah, see, I did have it written down here. So, seven and a quarter by seven. Um, now, also, okay, so with these on here, it's going to leave an overall book. It's going to leave, because here it leaves an eighth of an inch, but then you have to take, like, say, when you mat it in here, you're then going to have the white of your mat plus that part of your book. But now, my, I'm okay with that because the way the pocket and the flap here on the front, it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up looking cohesive and not have one bigger than the other and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get these matted on here so I'm gonna put these to the side because I already decided which one I want this one in I want this one here like that and because and that's the one that I cut short <laughs> so uh, yeah So yeah, okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and stick them down. Just go ahead and stick it down, cause I don't know. Okay, get my glue, my glue. I probably should have just left this out. That way it could be. There we go. Um, you could put it down with um, score tape, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, but usually when I'm making an album or anything, I never use just one type of adhesive. I always use <laughs> several. Um, but you use whatever you like using. Um, I like tacky glue, but the only thing about tacky glue, and it's, I use tacky glue, the Aline's tacky glue for forever, but it does tend to be the, I guess the wetness of it does tend to make your papers warp and curve and things like that. And nobody likes that. So we want them to stay straight and pretty. All right, so let's, and I know it's a lot of fun watching people glue it's kind of satisfying in a way I guess so all right I'm gonna leave my biggest piece here to this side. Oh. Okay, that's the only thing I don't like about that. Okay. Alright. So we've got that book done. Now let's do oh, before my glue runs on the table. Okay, let's get we'll go ahead and do the backs in all of these. So this one's my middle one, and it's the one with the, the coral color on it. So I'm going to use um, oh, do I want do how do I want that to go? Because you're going to kind of see that. So do I want to do mm, no. No, um, okay, yeah, okay. Because I remember now. I remember now why I did it that way. Okay. So I'm going to use the coral one on here. And then use the, the white with the chicken wire on the other.
and I don't know if we will just do like on the back side here because I know I added a pocket in and a thing to the front and I don't know if um, we will do like um, t -t 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 -t, what's what words am I trying to say here if we'll do any kind of flip or pocket or anything back here um, we might just leave it for a nice photo area and maybe I'm not just shaking you too much <laughs> okay and let's see where are we at here yeah okay so let me get a move on here so we can hurry up and get the pockets and those things put together and then I think matting the box itself will come maybe next because I still don't know yet like I have the solids and I know where I want those to go but I don't know as far as any of the pretty paper exactly I don't know yet I just don't know what I want okay let's make sure our chickens are going the right way and Glue smells too, so all right. And you know, if you don't want to ink your edges, you don't have to do that either. I just I like it. I think it's it's kind of um clean versus vintage or uh, versus vintage, whatever kind of comes together. I don't know. I like that so. The white and the, the other. Okay. Oh, no, not that side. So I'm gonna put that one to the side and then do this one. Of course, I know that's chicken wire, it's chicken wire, but what's going in the front, I feel like will go more cohesive with the back. And you'll see what I did. Now, these pieces here came from that six by eight pad. So, and I like that too because it has some, the prints, you know, smaller. So then it's not so big in your face, kind of boom. Cece. Cece, baby. All right. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Are you a good kitty? I'm really thirsty. My throat is very dry. <clears throat> okay. Now, all right. This pack. I did say about two of these sheets. Um, I haven't cut them down yet, but I did pull them out just, just in case I wanted to. But if I don't cut them down, because I do have plenty of the little cut aparts and in, um, ephemera and things like that, I have plenty of that stuff. So, um, possible that we end up using it using those papers for in the actual album because they're they have like that chicken wire and I like that it's a nice kind of a, a subtle not too busy kind of a pattern I guess okay just some digital chicken wire paper would have been pretty as well I don't, I'm, I might have, I might have some, I would have to look, but it, well, my printer don't work, so it's not better. I think it just needs a good cleaning. I hope. It's old, though. I've had it for a while, so it could be just, you know, old. All right, so, insides, 
facts done. All right, so let's start. And I got them all in order, so I'm just going to go um, in the order that I have going here. Um, okay. So we start with this one first. So we have that back. And we're going to start with this cover. Okay. So this is what I got going for this. All right. Let me take that. All right. So this is the inside front cover. And I got these doilies. I think they're really cute. I think they're going to look awesome in here. So, uh, um... These are some Bow Bunny ones that I've had in my stash, but you can get these doilies probably anywhere. And did I cut them? Okay, no. All right, All right so we're going to go. All of the front covers have the gingham. So there were three different ginghams. Um, I wish that one would have been a green. That would have been that would have been so awesome because then it would have just been like perfect pretty much. But it's black and we're going to put it on the darkest one. So I kind of do have somewhat of a, um, it being cohesive. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you want to call it, but that's the only word I can think of. Okay. So then we're going to need, okay, so you're going to need the mats. So, so we got our mats here, right? We got our, our mats here and what we're going to be matting is we have a white piece to mat the inside. Um, and you, you probably could just not do this and put your pocket and put your thing and then mat it with your um, your pattern. But I just like that more finished of a feel, I guess. Okay. And then you're, so you're going to have that, which is the same as it was on the back side. And then you're gonna need a uh, pocket and a little a little flap. All right, and I did do the corners on just this piece here. Okay, so your pocket. Um, we're not double matting the inside because I'm afraid I wouldn't have enough. Plus, we don't want to make it too bulky in there because they're all going inside that box so um i've already cut my pocket down and the pockets are uh actually when i cut down my mats my white mats here i had this piece left over and some, I think. But anyways, so I use that. And it's going to be four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And then I put this in my scoreboard. Um, I put it in my scoreboard this way. And I scored at a half an inch. Well, it would have been this way. At a half an inch on this side. Then I turned it this way in my scoreboard. And I scored at a half an inch here. And then a half an inch in from this other side. And you would do that three times to have your pockets on the, the other side, okay? And then for the flat piece is uh, three and a half by seven and a quarter. And on the three and a half inch side, I stuck it in this way and I scored it a half inch. So we need one of those okay so let's get let me get this right here together okay one and one get them separated out so then I've got one and all I did with the doily is because they're they're round and so and they're pretty good size I'll pull them out and let you look at them um, they are I just when I cut this mat down, I just stuck my doily on there, like how I wanted it to come out. And then marked it 
and then put it in my trimmer and trimmed it. And there we go. And I don't, I've debated whether or not I want to ink the doily. Because I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I want to ink it or not. So, I kind of think I don't, in a way. I don't know yet. Okay, so there is that. Let's see, I had another one. There it is, okay. So we got our pieces here. So we're gonna go ahead and stick these in. All right, and then I got these together for the next two. All right, so here's what we got. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick this one down with our glue. And mine, I think it's all pretty cool. Let's see. Maybe I had another bottle. I don't. I do not have another bottle, so okay. We will just use it until I can't use it no more. Yeah. It's getting harder to squeeze though. Okay, that's good. Maybe. All right, so when I'm putting this in here, I'm just making sure that I line it up with this, um, piece that we did here it may not be perfect making sure that yeah that we have a nice even amount around there okay. oh, there we go that glue seeped it out okay all right So let's go let me stick this back on there. And here we go. So we're gonna take the pocket. And then of course I did stick all my tape on, mattered my corners, all that good stuff, right? We're gonna take this one and we're just gonna peel the long side off. And I'm gonna line it up with the edge of that mat that we just stuck on there. I'm just gonna line that up and stick that down. And then these should line up. Um, if I scored them straight, <laughs> they should line up. I'm just gonna peel those and fold it over like that and we burnish that down okay so then we have a pocket okay and then we're gonna take um, and I had thought about sticking this piece under the mat but I didn't <laughs> so I guess we won't do that all right so then we're gonna take we are gonna angle these corners in though. I think I need to clean them, they're so sticky. Ah, oh, okay. Sticky scissors. All right. And then this piece is gonna go this way. This is why I feel like we probably do need magnets or something because that we don't want it to interfere with anything that we do on this page. So we turn it around this way. And I'm gonna peel this. And okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna line it up 
with the edge of that mat because they are the same length. And then press that down. Yep. Okay. And I didn't think when I was cutting these mats out, I didn't cut a mat for this, but we do want to mat the inside. And But I do have like the leftover, like where I had cut this down to go here. I do have it. So we can just stick that on there. Um, that looks weird. Okay. Um, we can stick that on there though. I think. And then I didn't do one for this side either. Mm. I might should have done that. So, but okay. So. Anyway, so this is gonna go here. This piece will go here. Okay. And then this is gonna go on top of there like that. Oh, I think that's gonna be so cute. Oh, uh, well, that's so cute. I think that's very pretty, okay. And then see when you see here and here and it looks the same size. I like that. So, all right. Um, I think I am going to ink at least the back side of this so that it looks like it kind of blends in with the mat. Um, I don't know if I want to or not. I mean, I guess I could and try one and see how I like it. And if I don't like it, I can just, you know, because then that might look weird with the bag being that way. Well, what do you think? I think we should. Hmm. Uh, don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're going to at least... Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. Before we put this piece down, we can go ahead and put this piece down. Or do we want to put the magnets on the back side? Or do we have something that we could... Like, use this like a, a hinge closure. Um, okay, so we have these. We could use the little hearts. That would be cute. Hmm. Let's just see what we got here. Well, okay. Let's just go ahead and break all these out, I guess. I'm gonna come out with some, don't. Are they stickers? Oh yeah, they're stickies, okay. So, what we could do, like, like home grown and have it like, like put a brad or something in it and have it like a swivel piece. I like the hearts. That would be adorable, wouldn't it? Let's go. Like, whoops. Like this. Okay, have the doily on here. How that's going to be. The edge. Okay. And then, like, say the little heart is your little... Hmm. 
I should have thought about it. But I don't know. No, no, no. Mm. We could just do embellishing on there. So I think I think we'll just do magnets because I, I don't know <laughs> I'd have to go digging around and that one just don't know there we go I might as well just go ahead and poke all these out because. see like something like that would be so cute. Butterflies. Okay, I love the chicken on the barrel. So cute. Alright, I think that's got everything. Oh, nope, missed one right there. Okay. That's got everything. And I got two of these, so well geez, I'm gonna leave this one on here too, I guess. Um together. I, ooh, that would have been cute if we could have put that like on the front. Oh my goodness. Ah. Just come out. Okay. Come loose. All right, got it. So I'm just going to chill in this piece. Now, I got everything now, right? <laughs> nope. Okay. This one is going to be like too big to fit on a spine but that's just that's too big for something but, but yeah so we have all these pieces just so cute I love it. okay um all right i need to find something to put all these in now um Okay, so we got those, but we're decided we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do magnets. So I gotta get magnets to go on there. Do I have any right here where I'm at? All right, let me see. All right, so I've got mine here. We even have these little Velcro dots. Um, some more magnets. And some of these I ordered, I didn't pay attention the size and they're just not right so but that's okay I'm gonna throw them away keep them this is a gum pouch one of those gum boxes I just like made it pretty put magnets on there so that's my little magnet box now all right so we will need we will need I had also at one time I had some of those little metal pieces that would have been even better. But I don't know where they are. And I was trying to stop and make it the hiding out somewhere. That way then I wouldn't have to use as many as magnets. I could use the little metal pieces. All right, so let me, let me see. We're going pretty long on this one. So,
I'm going to check one place for those. And then I'll see if we can, what we'll do. All right. Okay, so these are the little metal pieces that I'm talking about. They're like little roofing, something to do with roofing. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. I don't have the box. I just had these in a jar sitting somewhere. So, but we can use these because they're very thin, super thin. And um, I got this idea from Genevieve Designs. So, whoop, brilliant. Works great. So, got plenty of those. A box of these would last for a very long time. So, and you can even cut these because they're so, they're super thin. So, if you've got some good kinds of scissors like that, you can cut them. All right. So, let's go with one of these and I think we'll just do one um, one magnet I think one should be enough and you should yeah oh um let me get something to stick that in so I don't lose those here just gonna put all of them but that one over in here so we don't lose them because they're super cute all right so and I'll stick that one down in with the other embellishments all right so we'll set that to the side just get for now we're gonna get three because we'll do the same thing for each for each album All right. okay. Uh, okay so let's say going to give plenty of room I feel like there and you'll still have plenty of space to um, it not to show right yeah okay so we're going to take a piece of tape and stick to our magnet. Okay. Now, my magnets I got off of um, Amazon. And you can just go in there and punch in magnets. Okay, try to get that as centered as possible and I'm just gonna press. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna stick a few little strips of the tape on the back here. I can move it here where you can see what I'm doing. We'll just go this way with it. Okay. Alright, 
So that is, yeah, good. Yay, okay. So we're gonna attach this down now. And we will put, um, we will mat that. Um, that's so pretty. <laughs> Let's just look. That's pretty too, but I really like that. I really like that though. Okay. So let's attach this one down. I may have to go tomorrow and get some more of this glue. And I'm just going to like stick some of this glue like right around the edge of that just to just to be on the safe side because we want it to go and I'm going to go this way with this needle that like kind of covers that so you get like little pieces of paper that have ink on it and then they smear on your paper I hate that or little pieces of your blender brush come off and they smear so and I mean like you with that you can't tell like you can't even tell that there's anything under there it's so cool okay. and I think these magnets are like the 130 second so look at that it's not gonna be so cute so cute all right okay. Ah, look at that. <laughs> ah, smear it. That was pretty big. Okay. Now. It is really cool though how that glue feels underneath that paper. It's so cold feeling. It's it's like weird. I don't, just don't know why that fascinates me so much. Okay. All right. Now I don't know what I'm gonna attach this with because it's pretty thin. Pretty thin, and I'm gonna. Trim up those edges that look like they're torn. I don't like that. That's weird. Okay. Okay, so and that one is kind of torn there, but that's okay. Oh, so I don't know. I don't know how well that glue would do underneath that. Mm. I don't want taggy glue. I don't really want the tape runner either because you'll see it underneath. So I'm gonna try this glue. Just gonna try it. Just a little. Like a little there, and then maybe just a little around. So 
some of these little places that are kind of solid and maybe like at the tips even though they're not but I don't want that like coming up either and being all you know getting it all um, messed up and stuff like that so and the edges you corners we want down pretty pretty good all right so I think what I'm gonna do is though I'm gonna take a paper towel Okay, so give me a paper towel there. All right. And lay this down. Run into that mess. Best we can. And you're going to be able to see that, aren't you? So I'm going to lay that on there and I'm just going to kind of. over that so it doesn't move yeah so you can kind of see the glue marks a little bit but that's okay because we probably will end up putting some flowers or something else something else on there to kind of that is so cute though I'm sliding everything oh, I love it it's so pretty um all right so there's that one we got two more like this to do um i think though that i'm gonna do them off camera because they're the exact same um as this and this video is gonna be super long as it is like they've been getting super long and so um yeah so i think that's what i'll do um, I really could have not done all of them on camera, even the backs and stuff. I could have just done the one because it's going to be the same. And even when we get to the pages, they're going to be pretty much the same, except that, like, with our flaps and our billings, we just, we have all the same amount. We just put them in different areas of the book so that they're not all exactly the same. So, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So I think um, we will end this one here. I'm gonna do those and I will show you, I'll show you those in the next video. So in the next video, I'll show you the completed ones like this and we will be adding the mats to the box itself. So, that's what will be next. And I try not to bump that camera too much, but I do. That really shows there, don't it? All right, so I think once that dries, you might not be able to see that. And even if you do, like I said, we will put something, we'll put something on there. Um, so yeah. All right, well, this is where we're gonna end this one. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.